Good morning, Prep 6, and welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson. Excellent day yesterday. Well done, all of you. A lot of you completed the assessment test. Now, if you didn't, that's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to make sure you completed Monday's assessment test and Tuesday's assessment test. And then you can move on to a very short lesson. It's only two pages on the PDF. That's it. I think there's 11 questions. Once you've done that, you deserve your treat because you've been working very hard on the assessment test the last two days. So just to recap, finish assessment test from Monday. Finish assessment test from Tuesday. Complete this work, which is very short, and then you're on to your treats. Okay, let's have a look what we're doing. We're going to solve simultaneous equations using substitution method. Now, the reason I've done this is because of all the feedback I have had, this came up from all of you. So the seven people who told me what they needed to work on or they found difficult, simultaneous equations came up. Well, I think it was everybody. Maybe one person didn't need, but everyone else needed help on it. So this is more of a reminder because when I start doing it, you'll go, Oh, yeah, of course, Mr. Williams, I remember this. So this is just a bit of a reminder. So watch carefully. So here I am. Here's my simultaneous equation. I've got two equations happening at the same time. Therefore, they're simultaneous. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to do substitution methods. So I'm going to substitute a value. Well, this tells me that y is the same as x plus 4. And I've got a y down here. So I'm actually going to put this x plus 4 instead of this y. So let's rewrite it out. Take the 2x, which is already here. I'm going to substitute that y now with x plus 4. And I'm going to put this back down here equals 40. So I've got a new equation here. Let's simplify it. 2x plus x is 3x plus 4 equals 40. And now I've got a nice equation I can solve. 40 take away 4 is 36 divided by 3. We think x equals 12. So we think x is 12, but we're not sure yet. Now we're going to put 12 in this equation to work out y. So we just found out that x is 12. 12 plus 4 is y, which is 16. We think y is 16. Now we have to double check by putting them all in here. Well, let's substitute x for 12. And let's substitute y for 16. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 16 is 40. So we were correct. x is 12 and y is 16. Now, if you need any help going over that, call me and we'll go over it on the board together we'll go over another one if you're happy to move on here we go we've got another one slightly different slightly different okay we've got a negative sign in here but we can do it let's do it together again i'm going to substitute now so i'm going to take this one here something x plus 3y equals 23 and it tells me that x is the same as y minus 5 so I'm actually going to put this y minus 5 instead of that x. So here we go. Let's write it out now. y minus 5 plus 3y equals 23. So I substitute that in, or sub yeah, substitute that in, and I've written out my new equation. Let's simplify the equation. y plus 3y is 4y, I've collected the y's, minus 5 equals 23. So I collected the y's, 4y, and I put the minus 5 in equals 23. And now I'm left, I'm left with a nice equation. 23 plus 5 is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. So we think y is 7. So let's put here y equals 7 and keep it there. Now what have we got to do? We need to substitute it in. So let's put it here. Instead of this y, let's put 7. 
7 take away 5 leaves us x, which is 2. So we think x equals 2. And now let's double check by putting it in this part of the equation. So let's substitute x for 2. And let's substitute 3 times y, 3 times 7 is 21. 2 plus 21 is 23. And that's all it is to it, boys and girls. Okay, so we have been over this a couple of weeks ago. Some of you have forgotten. Some of you needed consolidation. Some of you just needed to see it again. I can know yesterday, Miles, as soon as I start explaining to him, he was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. And he knew how to do it, okay? So this is a little practice for you. Like I said, there's only 11 questions. It won't take you long. As soon as you finish, let me know, and then you can have your treats. Okay, off you go.